Hi everyone, this is Austin with uh, Sun Fun Kits. So this is a video that we've kind of want to been doing for a while, just haven't had the time to get around with it. We had a hurricane last month and uh, kind of threw everything sort of aside. But now things are getting back to normal and just want to give an overview on how we test our batteries. Uh, specifically the SFK260 series uh, that are now our pre-built batteries. So um, the way we test these batteries is as close to the real world as we can and that's the setting we want to basically test that it should be able to power um, RV or small trailer and give a uh, reliable power. So this is our little uh, test trailer that we have. It's got um, a NPP LV24 which is a 2400 watt inverter, uh, charger and also solar panel system and usually when we keep our uh, uh, rig outside, uh, the sun will charge it and keep the batteries uh, charged up. Uh, we normally store the batteries in a little compartment there and they, they're stable, don't move, uh, quite easy. But when we're testing other parties, we want a little extension and we put it here. Um, we monitor our batteries with, uh, with our app, which is allows us to see what's going on and um, has a little bit of tools so we can see where we are. And we monitor this remotely. So we actually have a, a camera that's pointed down here and you can actually hear, and this actually streams to our main office so we can see what's going on. So you can see we've got two batteries here. We'll just connect to one of them. And these are pretty much fully charged. So, um, you know, 99.51% and 13.6.8, uh, and we're drawing about, uh, you know, four amps. And we can go to details and see well, most almost the cells are 3.42 so it's basically you know full and then we can see we have volts and uh, temperature we can see what it is so uh, since everything's been inside it's a little hot and uh, 80 80 in the mid 80s uh, we do have some tools and we'll be adding more tools right now we've turned charging uh, enabled and discharging is enabled um, so it'll charge and discharge uh, there'll be more options coming out for tools soon, including calibrating temperature, setting up state of charges. So if you want to max only 80% state of charge, you'll be able to go in here, set maximum state of charge, you know, uh, 80%. If you want to have max uh, l uh, lowest point of discharge at like 30% where the battery will stop after 30%, it can be uh, set up as well. But let's go over what we actually do for, for main testing. Okay, this is one of the things that really sets lead acid from lithium. Can you run an AC? And that's exactly how we test them. Our batteries, two of our SA, SFK260, uh, in this case, or 260 HPs, can run this air conditioner during the day for about six to eight hours. Six hours, pretty much, compressor never shuts off, it keeps running. And eight hours about cycle. If you run it at night, like let's say you start it off at um, 7 p.m. at night, it will run for 12 hours because it cycles on and off and generally it's a little cooler at night. So if you set it to like 73, 74, even 70 degrees, you can actually get 12 hours. And we've actually gotten on our trailer because it's not very big. It's a 16 by 8. We've gotten 16 hours running on this thing. And outside with the sun out, We've actually run it for the entire day for 10 hours straight during the day, and we still had 25% battery left. So now we're actually going to show you, and uh, if you actually want to see a time-lapse video, just comment below. We'll get a GoPro or something and do a time-lapse. So we're actually going to go ahead and start it. Now, if you're wondering, this is a, uh, I think it's a 10,000 BTU uh, AC. So it's not 13.5, it's, it's a little less than 10, and it consumes about 1,200 watts full power. Uh, the 1350, a uh, 135 will do like you know 13500, uh, 131400, and a 155 will use about you know 16, 1700 watts depending on what it is. Um, so for a 155, we generally recommend you bump up to you know four batteries, or if your inverter supports three, go to three. But if you have 135 or lower, um, two of our SFK 260 batteries are are going to be sufficient. Remember that's that's almost seven kilowatts there. So a lot of power. So anyway, let's go ahead and power this up. And we'll see it turn on. 
And now if we go to our details, we'll see our amps start going up. So now we're, we're drawing about 38 amps up to 43. And that's per battery. So battery one's doing 43 and the battery two is also doing 43. So about 43 amps combined. And then we see the, you know, um, under load, you know, a little bit of variance in the, in the cells, which is n normal. And let's see here, this is our uh, uh, battery one, it's under the belt tab. We're actually gonna go ahead and set the temperature to like 70 degrees. And uh, 70 degrees, so now it's set to 70 degrees. And uh, we'll go ahead and let it run. So let's uh, let's actually go back and we'll quit the app. Let's see here. Let's start it up again. Sorry. By the way, our app works with tablets. I know some people like the Zalzing app, but it will crash on a tablet. Ours won't. So that's something to give in consideration. Get this uh, warning. That Google makes us put that on there. Um, so we're going to try, we're going to connect to the second battery this time. The AE battery. Okay. So I connect the AE battery. And again, we see 99% available. It's discharging at around 45 amps. Go to details. And it's uh, drawing about 600 watts per battery, so about 1200 watts. We also have a lot of lights going, so that draws about another 120, 130 watts, just all the lights that we have, but a lot of lights, keeps it nice and bright, and I can already tell it's getting cool. Um, but uh, if you go to uh, temp, you can see uh, BMS is 82, and case is 78. Um, and those are our cells, 3.3, 3.3, one's a little low, which under load, they're gonna be like that. When you see, as soon as the compressor cycles off, they'll kind of jump back. Um, we've tried to get as close as match cells as we can, but it's never perfect. And it's very different under load versus when they're actually going. So some, we just don't want you to be alarmed if you see a little bit of variance. Most manufacturers don't even show this to you. They, all they will show you is, they'll just show you your total voltage so you actually have no idea what each one of your cells is doing okay um, all it's showing you is like you have total voltage so you may have a weak cell and not know it for many many years um, we don't believe that's a good idea so that's why when you go to our details we actually show you the voltage of each individual cell so you can see exactly what is going on and uh, for the most part um, this thing if the compressor never shuts off probably about six hours of runtime. You know, it's 1200 watts continuous. Uh, but if the compressor cycles on and off about eight hours. And like I said, if you run it at night on a, on a unit like a 10,000 BTU, you can probably easily get uh, close to uh, 12 hours. I mean, we've done it where we've actually just did a test, you know, bar like a sleeping bed, uh, uh, inflatable bed, put it in here and Turn the thing on around 6 p.m. and it was still 25% left at uh, 7 a.m. in the morning the next day. So um, it just just ran constantly. So uh, you know, a, a trailer with a combination of some solar panels and that pretty much you can leave your almost leave your generator at home. But if you do, all you need is a small like thousand watt generator because most of your power you're going to get from the sun or or whatever it is. So leave your trailer outside, let it charge. We have a 500 watt solar panels in our little trailer and that can charge our batteries from dead to full in, in about a day on a sunny day. So it works really well. And uh, we really do like these MPP solar or uh, uh, Voltronics based controllers. They work really well, um, allow us to sort of manage everything and, and that. And, uh, and that's just a little brief overview. Like I said, every battery we sell, we run through this test. We make sure we can run it all the way uh, and we monitor that. Uh, we also have a little camera, which it can pan, tilt, and zoom, so let us know if anything happens. We can immediately come here. We've got a fire extinguisher, but never had to use it, thankfully. And um, so far, everything has been very good. So that's a little bit of overview. We wanted to show you that you can run an AC 
easily with two of them. You don't need a bank of a five or six. Uh, big amp hour batteries work great. The SFK 260 and 260 HP should uh, work fantastic for you. Uh, they're, pro they're, they're the most affordable USA assembled uh, batteries there is. I know some people get a little annoyed with us when we say made in America, but there is a lot that goes into these batteries. Our entire software stack, our firmware, uh, well over 50% of the case, all the cables, we all manufactured that in here uh, in the U.S. Uh, but yes, our cells do come from China and the circuit board for the BMS is China. So uh, it's not 100% American, but you know, we're hopeful maybe when Tesla starts selling batteries to the retail market, we'll, we'll switch to them. But, but for now, uh, the lithium iron phosphate batteries have worked really well and we use EVE, in our, Eve cells in ours. So that's just an overview to show you that you can absolutely run an AC. And uh, we test, that's how we test our batteries before we send them out. We, we run two of them. Uh, we make sure we can get six, eight hours out of them, and we check the voltage. And once everything is good, we'll box them up, uh, bring them up to about 30% charge, and uh, they're ready to ship out to you. So cool. If you have any questions or comments, let us know. We'll see what we can do to uh, you know, uh, assist you in any way we can. Thank you.